Cool, so once again, rockflesh.com coming from TechFest 2023, and I have two of the 100 year old man with me. Thanks very much for joining us You're today. Welcome. Um, to be here, yeah. We were just saying about the Leeds music scene, as it has been for years now, is very much everyone uh, in everyone else's band watching everyone else's band, all that kind of thing. How many members do you think you've gone through as a band that uh, you were just saying? At <laughs> least 20, I think. Um, <laughs> if you include like anyone that's ever played an instrument at a rehearsal or... It's one of those doom triangles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I like that. We're going to use that. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, I think before we even played the first gig, we'd been through three drummers, or maybe wow. four. Well, you were the first drummer, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how many quick, instruments have you played? You've played three instruments in this band. Is it, as well, did you throw yourself uh, out of the band? You play drums, bass, and guitar. No, I think I'm over five. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Owen were adding weird things. Yeah. Oh stuff. yeah, was it bassoon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, French horn. <laughs> French horn. Yeah, we've had we got uh, French horn on the album as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, all these things do tie in. When, they do. Yeah. When, um, Anything sounds good through a distortion pedal. As well. well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, how would you describe your music to someone who doesn't know your music? Because I think it's quite difficult, which is a good thing. Yes. Unpigeonholeable is always good. Yeah. yeah, like slow, heavy build up, ambient Atmospheric, stuff. Yeah. Nice quiet bits, and then back to heavy build ups again. Yeah. Yeah. Atmospheric, I would say. A build yeah. out, yeah. almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a build up and a build out. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. I think, very, yeah, very, very long songs. Very, very long. <laughs> very long, very slow, very heavy. Yeah. With a beautiful bit in the middle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that, yeah. 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 So, yeah I think it. Well, that's how I hear it, so yeah. that's good. Absolutely. That's good. Okay. Yeah, we always say, like, you know, kind of uh, bands that mix up genres uh, and, and kind of bring everything together are the interesting mm. bands. Mm. You know, yeah, uh, anyone who's pigeonholeable is usually eminently boring. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely. We, yeah, we kind of, you know, with the members that we have, we kind of embrace the sound that they bring as well. So, if you know, like, I brought, I brought something different when I joined and kind of that's what we do we try and use what we have yeah rather than just like stick to a certain formula we just if someone brings something new in like new instruments you know <laughs> if they've got a skill that we can use we'll use it yeah exactly yeah, yeah. exactly so um organic evolution of the sound of the band absolutely over the yeah. time yeah. with all the different members and yeah stuff. yeah i mean this album sounds completely different to the the, the, the other stuff that we've done and not, the next thing we do will sound different will sound again. different again yeah, yeah. exactly exactly um Obviously, um, everything that happened with, you know, Owen, um, yeah. that, well, that was obviously very, very difficult for, yeah. for you guys uh, here personally and as a band. Um, where you are now as a band and, and, and kind of um, really going ahead with it all, is that almost kind of... Um, kind of like in his name, as it were, that you feel Definitely. that you're moving like, on? There was... Like after it happened, there was definitely a point where it was either we were going to do stuff or it was just going to end completely. Yeah. We didn't and know. We had no clue. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. yeah. We had absolutely like, no clue. Yeah. There was. I think there was a good few weeks. Like there was. I think it was about three months before we actually even got in a room together. Like yeah. we'd seen each other, like just mm. to meet up and sort of chat about. We hoped we could. We hoped we could carry on, mm. but we didn't know if we could. No. Yeah. You know, I think you were very yeah. honest, you know, oh, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Look, we just we just don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Um, I think it was because we did that first show in Leeds, that was basically us and just full of friends and family. I think mm. I don't think there was many people there that we didn't know. Yeah. And, yeah. and that was a, that was a test. Yeah. Yeah. Like if we could even get on stage, we could even play play the songs that he wrote as well, you know, cuz yeah, a lot exactly. of it, a lot of the, the Sleeping Light album is wrapped in no way yeah, so it was, exactly. you know to get on stage and do it but when we did it it was a massive release for us to be like that's how you know people use music to get over things and yeah, totally. for us that was like the big big weight off to do mm. this so we, you know here we are mm. yeah, <laughs> basically exactly. you know exactly yeah yeah brilliant yeah yeah so yeah you say like kind of the cathartic experience is that yeah. something that you think will always be part of the band then? i think so um, it has to be yeah it has to be you have to take it and go forward and it's always always going to be part of yeah. what we yeah. do going forward there's yeah. always going to be an element of, of even uh, just like yeah. the way we work yeah like so much of that came from him like he was insanely driven and yeah. would like oh god <laughs> he, he, he managed us as well you know yeah. it, was, it wasn't just musically and you know he was like sort of the director if you yeah you know, he you know the, he, he managed us so it's you know we've had to we've all had to take different responsibilities yeah. <laughs> since yeah. 
yeah. like we've all had to step up. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. once again, evolving. You know, Absolutely, evolving yeah, as yeah. that band, as that yeah. band. And um, thinking about the Leeds music scene, which is you know very close knit, did did that play a key role in you being able to carry on? Do you think? Uh, I guess in terms of like the support we've had from like oh, yeah, it was friends huge, and yeah. other friends' bands and mm. stuff like that, like. Um, We've done a couple of shows with Dinner Celestial Birds. In fact, both of the shows we played yeah. in Leeds have been with them. And like Andy, their guitarist, had been chatting to Owen loads. Like they knew each other pretty yeah. pretty well. And then I've ended up chatting to him a lot. And I know a few of the other guys as well. Yeah. I actually found out I work with one of them. Yeah, uh, we're doing when we're doing stuff together back. later in the year yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So we, you know, the, the Leeds scene helped us, but I think that ultimately it all came down to what it had to be. It had to be. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, yeah, because yeah. Um, but everyone has been amazing since it happened, you know, and yeah. we, we wouldn't be here for all these, everything had to line up for us to be here. Yeah. Like, and, you know, one thing didn't work, we might not be here now, so, it's, you know, exactly. we're very thankful exactly. for everything that everyone did for us in that time, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, um, as we said, this is the, the last tech fest yeah. as in, in this guise, as it were. Um, what do festivals like tech fest, these smaller festivals, um, really offer a, a band such as yourselves? Great atmosphere. Yeah. And like, because it's small, I think it's a lot more full of people that genuinely care about the music. Yeah. Like yeah, people, at bigger yeah. fest festivals, people just go to get wrecked, and in yeah. some cases, just, kind of just pass in and out of a room and just wander exactly. around here. It feels yeah. like, and people are here to really see bands for the music yeah. rather than yeah. the music yeah. in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Most, yeah, it's actually the first time a lot of us have been to Tech Fest. So, mm. like, yeah. we were supposed to play it. So we were supposed to play it. Uh, was it before COVID? Yeah, no, we went to play last year. Yeah, last year, literally, yeah. like, one of us got COVID. Before, <laughs> the week before, Andrew got COVID, and we had to pull out. I think it was after one of the after show. Yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the atmosphere is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we can't wait to play. Yeah. yeah. We can't wait the fact that everything's so close yeah. as well, like yeah. we can see our tents and stuff yeah, yeah, from yeah, the exactly. main stage. I mean, the, 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 the tent for Loathe last night was insane. Do you know what Absolutely I mean? It just it looked, yeah, but the atmosphere was incredible as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we, yeah, we just can't wait to play. It's, yeah. like, it's crazy when it really starts raining heavy and you can hear it on, on the, the, on the shed. That's yeah. the only thing. That? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, it should rain for us. That's the type of music it is. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just depress a few people. Yeah. We'll be right, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, we are really, really looking forward to your set. Yeah, I've got yeah. to say, uh, yeah. uh, Rockflesh Towers, we, uh, yeah, we're big fans. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, fans. yeah, we, we can just can't wait to play. Um, let's do some more fun questions. Yes, <laughs> happy with that. Yeah. Fun stuff. Um, who, who's got the best hair in the band? <laughs> <laughs> it changes every week. I'm to be fair, clinging onto it with dear life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was easy. That was easy. Who does the craziest poses live on stage? You're pointing at me again, aren't you? I don't know. Helen. Yeah. Helen. Helen's got the best Helen moves. Goes pretty hard. Helen's got the best moves. She's always had the best moves. Why she got the job in the band? <laughs> yeah, she's got. She's got it. Yeah, she's got it down. Definitely. Yeah. Just the moves. She's, she's just absolutely yeah, all crazy. All so the that's who Johan's got to look out for. Yeah, yeah. All of. the all the band pitches. We all just look average, and Helen's always pulling some shape. <laughs> So yeah, he yeah, Helen gets Although that. I did like, the, there was a photo of me at Portals. Did you see your beard though? Well? Yeah, it's like, because I was leaning forward, <laughs> like my hair was going forward and my beard was going forward. It just looked like I had a moon for a face. <laughs> oh wow, you look like it is a like, moon. Yeah. <laughs> Half crescent man. <laughs> um, okay, here, here's one that I think works for you guys best. What's, what's your shortest song and your longest song? I think the shortest eight minutes is the shortest. I think. Uh, no, I think it's under seven. I is think it? Forest is a pretty short one. Yeah, which is oh, off it's almost reaching. like Napalm Death Thirty Seconds. Yeah, 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 it is for us. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's longest is sixteen. Lo isn't yeah. It? 16. In full, uh, yeah. glimpses the longest. Leviathan's probably the longest one as we play it live. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a bit. Like yeah, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, minutes. we try not to play anything live that's under ten minutes though. Yeah. So what's the point? <laughs> exactly, exactly. We got told it was we played recently. We got told we had a 25 minute set, and we were like, "Yeah, shit, we actually can't song, get three songs in." Yeah, we yeah. played, <laughs> we, we played song set. We played Portals, <laughs> Portals Festival, and uh, we got there and we were like, we, we were rehearsing. We, we had we had a tour beforehand, yeah. so we had like a 50 minute set. And then for Portals we had 25 and we were like, we can only play two songs at <laughs> this festival. <laughs> Travel to London to play two songs. <laughs> 
We made the most of it. We made the most of it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't want it any other way, would no, you? Really? No, really. No, no. If you like, you know, yeah. if you could play a load or something. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. I mean, for new, for new yeah. listeners, because the songs change quite a lot. Anyway, they think that that's like a five-song set. Anyway, so. Exactly. It's fine, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, why don't they speak between the songs? There is no between songs. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. You get silence at the end of the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, um, if <coughs> excuse me, hundred-year-old man were a drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, what this, drink would you be, and why? It'd be a, a sour one. It would be a sour beer. Oh, nice. Owen was obsessed with sour beer, so I would yeah, say it would yeah, be yeah. a sour beer. Because, yeah, he drank beers that nobody liked. <laughs> oh, it That's as well. Yeah, it was like the smelly soft beers, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a, hard to, a hard to swallow beer. That's that's what our band is. Fruity in places. Fruity in places, yeah. <laughs> Fruity, yeah, yeah, there you go. Very hot, sour in places. Hot, as well. Sour, hard yeah. to swallow, fruity in places. <laughs> it takes a long time to drink. It's a big yeah. drink. There you go, it's a big, long drink. I like that. I like that. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, okay. Um, <coughs> festival. Hundred year old man festival. Yeah. Well. Who would you put on your festival? Don't ask me that question. You go. Oh God. Uh, it can be as eclectic as you want. As we as we always quote, the Ithaca drummer decided he wanted a Q and A with Arsene Wenger. Interesting, during interesting. His, yeah, which yeah. We done, yeah. And he also wanted David Seaman to say penalties from people, but we were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, taking it too that, far. That, sounds like yeah. a, that sounds like a make a wish dream. I don't know. <laughs> it, it was a strange. Yeah. Strange. I mean, I know, who I, I, know, I know my festival. Yeah. You'll just basically be that sick no, South World one. They're, they're saying they just played that festival in America at the minute. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sick, yeah. Sick, sick New World. Just, awesome. new, just new metal top to bottom, yeah. Headline Limp Biscuit Tap Root, Non Point. Oh, yeah, that's where I go. Route, anyway, yeah. you go. That's my favourite festival, go on. I'd definitely be on... The real like, festival would be? Like Cult of Luna, The Ocean, basically just copied Beyond the Redshift. Just every time they do that festival, I'm like, yes. Mm. Been waiting for the new one for a long time. So you could have a new metal stage. We could have a new metal yeah, stage, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not new metal stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 New yeah. metal, post metal. Cross it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might work, uh, it could work. It could work. You just have a bunch of new metal people that never went to the other stage. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they walked in at... Uh, no, no. <laughs> you could just have Fred Durst guessing with the ocean, you know? Oh, I man, mean, you're talking my language I'm not now. Sure that so that I could live work, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You never know. I mean, you don't know until you try, do you? <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, if you could collaborate as a band with anyone at all, um, mm. who would you like to collaborate with? Tom's definitely more on, like, oh, you know, yeah. my, my musical studies just hit, like, early 2000s, so, like, you're definitely better at that. All the it. collaboration ideas I've have, I'd have would be things that people have already done, though. Mm. Like the um, Cult of Luna Perturbator collaboration yeah. is fucking incredible. And that, something like that would be my dream, but then obviously they've done it, so... Yeah. I don't know, we're going to get a lot more since mm. going... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably have to think I'd step that. aside for a few singers. <laughs> yeah. well, we've, had a, we've had a lot of guests. I guess, like, Sleeping Light, the album, it had... Um, uh, ELR. Oh, yeah, ELR, yeah, 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 ELR on it. ELR from um, Switzerland, uh, Switzerland, incredible band. Mm. Um, they're on, they're on the, one of the songs that we're playing tonight as well. Yeah. Um, Antoine from a band called Bark. Mm. Um, yeah, great uh, French, yeah. he guested, did some vocals. Um, we had another friend, uh, John Thompson. He's in a few bands in Manchester, like yeah, Rain of Erebus. Did a lot of, a lot of keys synth. for us and stuff. Yeah, yeah. With uh, yeah. the next album, we'll hopefully get more well. more people in as well on yeah. the next stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. doors. It's kind of a revolt open door for, for if you like I said before, if you if we've got if you've got sort of a skill that we can use, like even if you're not in the band, yeah. like yeah, singers, yeah. everything. Like we want to just want to throw. Throw it all out, see what sticks. <laughs> yeah, well, I can play trumpet if you need there you a go, trumpet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Other yeah, stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, exactly. you know what? We get a percussionist in as well. I think that'd be a next step for us. Well, the because the original idea for the band was going to be like yeah a full collaborative project. Mm -hmm. So it's like no band members basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like all the people we'd met from touring with various bands, just get them in, like do a little bit, and basically yeah. make an album just on computer and then release that. Yeah. And then we started talking about actually playing stuff live, and then like having a core band in yeah. Leeds that could actually mm. go and do shows. I mean, me, and me, me, kind of yeah. grew from there. me, you, um, Andy, been together quite a while now, haven't we? Like yeah, five yeah. years, five yeah. years now, I think that's the longest, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, yeah, in some ways, COVID actually gave us a more stable. It gave us a more stable like that core yeah, 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 kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. element. Yeah, definitely. Right. So, what can we expect from you from the rest of the year? Uh, we've got only a couple of shows unannounced at the moment. We obviously got, uh, got this week, week we're on yeah. tour with yeah. Arm for Apocalypse, which um, we're very excited about. Yeah. But I think for the rest of the year, we're going to start like trying to write some new stuff. Yeah. Um, that's going to be weird because we literally haven't written anything in about two or three years now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Well, um, we've done we've done bits, but we've not put yeah. anything properly. We've done ideas, Actually, but so we've not put anything yeah. properly. We've together. got loads of like unfinished songs that were yeah. for the last album that we're going to go back to and like. Yeah, we, I think we've got rewrite. We've got about eight whatever. eight shows left this year, maybe nine. Yeah, maybe. And then it's we're going to bunker down and cool. try and do either an EP or d just jump straight into the next album. Yeah. Just kind of what we're hoping to do, yeah. to see what happens. Start writing, yeah. see how much, yeah. how many songs we get. Yeah, when, if we have my way, it's going to be the heaviest fucking thing we've <laughs> ever done, yeah. As long as it's the slowest. Oh, it'll heaviest, be the slowest, the it'll slowest. still be the slowest. Yeah. Like, we're wondering, like, all the, the tech fest people that don't know, don't know about it. Is it going to be band. the slowest band? We've got a blast beat. We do have a blast beat, yeah. The only blast beat this band has ever done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be the lowest amount of notes. That they, 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 my, my the <laughs> lowest note frequency yeah. count. <laughs> yeah, we're having a debate on Twitter. I think it was Mastiff. No, was it Conjurer? Mastiff? Conjurer. It was like we might have the actually Mastiff. Really yeah, I was like, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. It's like, you haven't three, seen yeah. Hundred Year yeah. Old Man. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us. Pleasure. Um, enjoy your set. We we're will. Gonna, we're gonna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, good good luck for the rest of the year. Thank and, you very uh, much. Hopefully, see you soon. You will. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. So we've been Rock Flesh once again. They have been a hundred year old man. And uh, like, subscribe. Go along to the website. Check out photos and reviews and more. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. <laughs>